This is how you do nicknames. On the left, we've got Yusuf the Turkish Delight Kurt. He could have just went Yusuf the Turk Kurt, but he's all the way into Turkish Delight. And on the right, we've got Craig the Contractor Campbell. These are good nicknames. I don't like when people are just pit bulls and assassins and hitmen. Very boring. These are good nicknames. So the one who put the comment is the one on the left, Yusuf Kurt. So getting into the fight, Yusuf Kurt's there in the uh, the red pinkish shorts, southpaw coming out with a front kick, and then closing the door with a few right hooks. Jumps in a bit eagerly there, a bit over eager, and he's caught wrapping the neck. In that, it's it's a bit of a weak position to wrap the neck from. He gets taken down and put into half guard. Still wrapping the neck. You know, it's a bit weak because you're kind of on the wrong side. People can put shoulder pressure in, pass. It's a bit difficult. See how his opponent there, Craig's got that left shoulder high. But now he gets this underhook. Wanting to build onto the side. A few little bridges. But the way his chest's on you there, turning the head makes it difficult to bridge. Now he gets into mount. But he is good work getting into that Ashigarami from the mount very quickly as well. Not letting him establish a mount and get a solid, like, grapevine in, low hips, getting that Ashigarami straight, bumping the hips and turning them over. Here, because it, it's amateur rule set, there's no heel hooks, which limits the availability. Took a few punches, but finally got that little sweep. Kind of half reap the knee over. It's weird in amateur, you're allowed to knee reap, but you're not allowed to actually complete a twisting leg lock. So he's going for the straight leg lock here. Need a bit more pinch on the knees there. You know, you can have the best grip in the arm with your arms around that ankle. But if you're not pinching the knees, you need to keep that knee pinched so that there's no play in the ankle and there's no play in the knee. Opponent Craig manages to get back on top, but now it's a butterfly guard. So even though he bumped him up to get that Ashigurami, that leg lock entry uh, from the mount, he didn't get the leg lock, but he's managed to get back to butterfly guard, which is better than being in mount. He uses that wizard one way, beautiful. Misdirection, that's just a key with any butterfly sweeping, misdirecting one way, go the other, being able to switch the hips over. Attacking that front headlock as he's standing up and knee to the body. Always love a knee to the body as someone's standing up. You know, people expect the cover of the head, but that body shot and those scrambles, it does a lot of damage. Jumping in with the jab. Kind of jumping in range a bit too much. I'd like you to, to hold your feet. Nice switch stance and using the, uh, the right low kick. And there, wrapping the head. This is a bit more solid of a bite on the head and the front headlock and the guillotine there. When you tried it the first time at the start of the round, kind of put your own arm in a Kimura shape and he had the body lock almost around the back. This is more solid. Jumping in, it was arm in originally, now it's no arm in. Nice and solid crunch in. The guy's trying to pike, but it's just solid. And there, he's out. He's out, the ref needs to stop it. The ref needs to stop it. But um, yeah, it was a really good performance. I liked that little bump. You know, not letting him settle his mount, bumping him up, getting the Ashigurami, getting that leg lock entry, and then using that to get back to butterfly guard, then using the butterfly guard to sweep. Uh, nice entry on the front headlock on the second time around, entering in a bit before he's gotten too deep. That was much better. I would say for homework, you know, you have that nice front kick. You use that right hook in, good in the start. Try not to jump in too much. You know, when you switch to orthodox and you use that right low kick, try not to jump in too much. But if you are trying to bait him to duck under to get that guillotine, it's it's pretty solid. Obviously, some people are a bit more solid with the defense and the guillotine as you move up in levels. So you need to start to think of different things you're going to do. Belly down and attack something else. Belly down, snap him down, come around the back. Attack different butterfly sweeps. You've already got a good butterfly guard. So just time those butterfly sweeps in with the guillotine as you move up levels because people's defense gets a bit better. But yeah, loads of potential. Nice fight. Nice pink shots too. Sundico. Sundico crew. 